everybody, it's Tamara from Etc. Eyes, and today I am going to show you how I use my um, book cradle to bind my junk journals. Um, I'm going to do things slightly different than I normally do, but the ideas are still all the same. This is my um, latest junk journal that I started before Christmas, and I've got the cover finished, and I've got my signatures done, and I just have to get them in here finally. Um, so I'll just show you what I, lots of times what I'll do is I'll use my crocodile and I'll use that to make my holes in my book spine. Um, and this is sort of the size, you know, if I use the smaller punch, this is what I get. And um, when I first started, I used to just leave the uh, outward spine bare like this so you could see all the the binding threads and then as I started um, doing more and more journals I got into the habit of covering the spine with a crochet lace so you can't see any of that um, which is great because if you make a mistake or if you have a different color thread that you're using you can't see it on this little one that was quite popular for some reason on Instagram um, I used um, just some trim from my sewing uh, stash on that one. So those are just some ideas. Um, normally I use, I've got a whole um, little binding kit here I got as a gift um, a, a while ago. It has everything I need pretty much for binding um, and I usually use this um, spool of thread which is like, it's quite thick and it's sort of like a waxed thread. And that's what I normally use to sew my um, signatures in. But for this one, I'm going to go back to what I used to do and leave it bare. And I want to do it, um, I don't have a thread that will, like a wax thread that will match. So I'm going to try using an embroidery floss. Um, it's sort of similar to the, um, the closure in color I mean and it kind of it, I think it goes well enough with the, the design on the front so that will be seen but before I even get that far um, we need to make the holes in the spine and so what I usually start with is I'm I take a piece of scrap paper and I make it the size of the spine and then I fold it in half and I fold it in half this way and I mark it all up and I get my marks where I want to make my holes. So I want one in this, or, well, they're, they're good. there's going to be three signatures. So there'll be three holes across in the center, three holes down at the bottom and at the top. And I usually just do three, um, three stitches, just a very simple stitch. Um, yeah, and that's about it. And then I slip it in here and I tape it temporarily and then that's when I'll usually pull out my crocodile and just just um, follow the template. Um, on this one I'm going to use the book cradle for a couple reasons. Number one because somebody on Instagram wanted to see how I used it um, and secondly I feel like this um, this spine is quite narrow and my signatures are a little overstuffed. <laughs> They're quite big for this book. Um, so I feel like I'm just, I feel better using my, um, my punch manually. Is, I've got a couple of these. It just looks like this. And um, just stab it right in. So um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use, I'm just, I'm not going to use the cradle for this. I'm going to just punch right in, see if I can get in there and make a hole. Yeah, easy peasy. So I want these to be somewhat even. You want that anyways, but especially if they're going to be seen. Ah, watch your fingers. <laughs> there we go. And then I'll do three in the middle. Oh, there, that was Katya. <laughs> she wants some attention. There we go. 
and oh, this one's harder. There we go. And then it's the three at the bottom. And there's lots of different styles and designs you can use. You can get really decorative with your binding. I just haven't gotten into that yet. Um, so I keep it pretty simple. All right, so my spine is punched. Now I gotta take my little template off carefully so I don't ruin my cover. Because this is, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this is uh, vintage wrapping paper, so it is a little delicate. Um, and then where my um, book cradle comes in is, I'm going to take out some of the extras I have in here just to make it a little easier. I'm going to make sure everything's lined up where I want it, make sure it's centered. Although I have to say I'm just eyeballing this, there's no... get too um, finicky about things. Yeah, if you take out all those extras, you, you uh, have a little bit more control. And now I'm just going to line up my template with my signature. And tape that on there. And that just gives me a basic idea so that my holes will line up. All right, now I'll get this baby out. You can see it. And I just, now what I should normally, what, what people would normally do is, um, they would put everything in there. Whoops, I got too much stuff on my desk. And then instead of making this little template, you just use your ruler, um, and then you don't have to make the template. I prefer using the template though. It just makes me feel better. Um, and then if you, maybe I should go back here for a second, you can see there's a little channel down the middle of this and that's what allows you to like really get in there. The, the cradle just sort of, as it, as the word mentions, it, it cradles the, the signature so that you don't have to like juggle everything around. And so now I can just go right in and I can push my um, my punch all the way down easily. I can make a nice big hole. There we go. Now those holes will line up with my cover. So I just do that for each of the signatures and then I sew them in. Um, and let's see here. Oops. So I'll sew, sew one in with you so you can see how easy it is. So this is signature number one, so it's going to go on the far left. Now, where's that thread? Well, I guess I can sit back down. Um, okay. see here I just sort of make sure I have about just a little over double the length of my um, signature and I that usually gives me more than enough now because this embroidery thread is so thick I'm going to need a large isn't this cute? This whole thing came, my binding kit came with all these needles and that cute little test tube. Um, okay, let's see here. So when you're cross stitching, you would unwrap each of these threads, but I'm keeping them all together because I need something nice and, oh, nice and thick. But I'm only doing, um, I'm not doubling it up. I'm just doing one, one thickness. Okay. Now. What a lot of people will do, and what I sometimes do, is clip all your um, signature together so that it doesn't fall apart. 
but I should be okay here. So I go in the middle from the top, go through your book spine, and then come up through your top hole. And, whoops, I think I'm going out of camera. Let's see, where's my top? And sometimes your signature will start to come apart. <laughs> and that's okay, you just do each page individually if you have to. Oh, come on. So, now in the course of doing that, my middle thread has come out because I pulled it too far. Let's see how far it went. If any luck. Yes, it's just the first one, so I can just go back. Alright, so line everything back up again because it's all come become a little bit wonky. Okay. And now I'm basically just doing a figure eight. So I'm going to go back down through that middle hole. Now just be very careful you don't pierce your original um, thread because you won't be able to pull it through all the way. I may have done that once or twice <laughs> through experience. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this, I probably have way too many pages in this particular journal, but I really love an overstuffed journal. Normally it's not quite this awkward, <laughs> but I'm trying to stay in the in the camera. Let's see, there we go. Here it comes. Okay, and then out through the middle again. So you can see what's happening there. And then just up through the bottom. I'm making this look Far more awkward than it is because I think normally I would have this sitting on my lap and it would be a lot easier. There we go. Okay. Ta-da. <laughs> um, okay. And then you just make sure it's fairly even and then just tie it in the middle. Easy peasy. Make sure it's nice and tight. I really, actually, I kind of like this look with the embroidery floss because you can get so many beautiful colors. And you can get silk floss, too. That would be gorgeous. You can get metallic. There we go. And then you can um, cut the threads. You can add little um, embellishments. Or you can just do a bow, which I don't like. No, I don't like that. Um, I think I'm just going to knot it one more time, and then I'm going to trim it. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to do the other two signatures off camera because that was pretty painful. <laughs> and uh, I will come back and show you how, the, um, how it all looks at the end. I'll be right back. Okay, so that took about half the time to do two signatures that the first one did. Um, and I think for me the key was that I'm able to like, you know, maneuver around and have it on my lap and that kind of thing. So it's not as awkward as I made it look <laughs> earlier. Um, but here's the finished um, spine. Um, yeah, it's that simple. And um, all my signatures are in there. And it's not, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's crocodiling a little bit, but I like that. And uh, it's not quite as, quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. And um, with the ribbon closure, I can get it nice and tight when I close it. 
so um, next video I will do, I have a little bit more um, decorating to do on the inside of this baby and then I will do a full flip through probably next week. Um, I should mention though my book cradle because I know somebody's going to ask where I got it but um, you can probably tell this is something I made. <laughs> I didn't pay for this. Well, actually, I didn't make it. My boyfriend and I um, made it together. I showed him some photos on Pinterest, I think, and uh, explained what I needed, and um, we just put it together, and it's pr pretty simple construction. This is all one piece. Two pieces come in at this uh, angle, and um, this is at the end to stop it from going all the way through. And then, of course, I've got that channel, and you've got one end open. Um, and I just made it as big as I thought. Like, I didn't think my journals would be any bigger than this. It would They would have to be massive <laughs> to be big, too big for this. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my book cradle. Um, and you can get really fancy and decorate your book cradle and stain it and the whole bit. But um, for what I use it for... Um, I just left it as plain but sanded wood because um, you don't want to get any slippers, obviously. So there you go. So that's how I use my book cradle. That's how I bind my uh, journals. And um, I will be back soon so you can see the inside. Thank you very much for joining me today. And I hope you have a great week. And I'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.